Lisa and my first poem is basically about relationships nowadays between young men and women. Young women, young women and men, basically my generation, my age. It's called respect and that's something that a lot of young men are lacking today for the young black women. Excuse me, do I know you? Do you know me? Yes, I do know you. You're the brother always hanging on the corner with nothing to do. Now you have nerve telling me about myself when you have empty pockets on the right and emptier pockets on the left. You know who I'm talking about, right? Now, ain't no need for disses just because I ignore your hisses. I'll treat you like a mister if you treat me like a missus. Don't get mad because I don't reply when you say hi. I'll just keep walking by. You know what I'm talking about. You do it every day. You want the attention, but be attent on what you say. A sister wants respect nowadays. You think you're cute with a beeper and a Malcolm X hat? Well, I don't think Malcolm X would speak to a sister like that. He would know that we're dignified, full of pride, classified, unsimplified, and refined. He would have also stated that we're educated, complicated, understated, underrated, and underestimated. We're undemanding, understanding, but still unrespected. So, my brown bag drinking, BMW driving, thousand gold chain wearing, wanna be down with culture, brother. When you see us walking by and you say hi, don't get mad because we don't reply. It's just something in our culture that we miss. I know Nefertiti and Isis wasn't treated like this. Oh, you don't see my crown, but I do come down from a long line of kings and queens. Just think of me as royalty in jeans. But really, what do you expect? Because you're not giving us sisters any respect. My next poem is about a generation which I was not a part of, but is a part of me. It's about a man named Doc, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He was assassinated before I was born, but he still lives on with me. Too young to have seen his glory, too old to not know his name, too young to be part of history, too black to not know his pain. Deprived of his presence, because I was not there. I know him in fantasy from what I see and what I hear. What makes one a leader? What made him the king? Could you have had the vision? Could you have been like him? Questions I must ask, for I am just a child. Teach me of his power and why my people cried. I know there's more to him, even more than what he seemed. He must have had a hidden knowledge to have had such a dream. He told us of this mountain and the climb that we must take. His death was our rebirth, and for his dream, we stayed awake. He did not get there with us, but I know he's waiting there, atop the highest mountain with freedom in the air. I know I'll never see him, but if I look up in the sky, the brightest thing I see will be the gleam in Martin's eye. Too young to have seen his glory, too old to not know his name. Too young to be part of history, too black to not know his pain. Thank you. You wanna again? I know the ladies like that type of stuff, you know. <laughs> you all feminists here. <laughs> I like the last one. But you know, the first one was good to men must give a woman some respect, you know? Yeah. And uh, you know, as well, I love my Muslim brothers because they preach that. That the, the men must respect the ladies. 
You know, we need some of those old values. Caribbean peoples mustn't drop it off opening the doors for ladies and so on and pulling the chairs and so on. You love that, ladies? Yes. Don't bother with them ladies who say, hey, this is woman liberation, boy. You know. I think ladies still love the little flowers and so on. You hear that, gentlemen? Go buy some flowers tonight. <laughs> old Caribbean way.